Hey guys, I've been looking on the internet for a bit of information about the uh, Victory Loaders. I've owned this VL200 for about three years now, and uh, ever since we bought it, we never really had decent brakes on it. You now I finally went into diagnosing the problem and uh, found this little beauty here, the booster. All internals here, all full of shit and locked up. So I wasn't pushing the piston to push the wheel. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a... I'll open this one up and uh, have a look and show you what I'm talking about. So at this point all I've done is removed all these bolts around here. You've got six all up. And, uh, that'll allow us to slide this case off. This case will probably be a bit stubborn. If it is all rotten inside. See so here we go, sorry for the video footage, this is the first time I've done this, so not very tech fancy. There it is guys. So my guess is the guy that owned it before me wasn't draining the air tank too often. It looks like we've got a fair bit of moisture in there and over time it's just rusted everything up and seized it all into peace. So what we're going to do is go and clean it all up, get it all sliding nicely again and uh, I'll come back well, I've gone ahead and uh, removed the reservoir so we've got that now now we'll go and clean it all up all right so ideally it'd be good to have a lathe or something that you could chuck it up and really give it a good old clean up but unfortunately I'm out in the middle of nowhere and uh, best I've got some emery tape so I've just given it a lick so there's no harsh bits that are going to grab the seal now and uh, I ain't a mechanic by any old means but what I did with the last one was just chucked a bit of grease in it and uh, helped it go in and nice and easy and hopefully just protect it from that rust build up again so I'll put this back together and see how we go so as I was saying about the grease, this is all I've done, so it's just compressed air in this area that'll push the piston. This being your piston here, and that seal, as you can see, the bore that was in there has already done a bit of damage to it. But that grease will help seal that up a little bit as well, I believe. And uh, hopefully protect it from moisture. But if you drain your tank each use, should be right anyway. So I'll just show you guys what we're actually after with this. So I've just put the airline back up and as you can see that's what we want. So our piston is doing its job now. It's not locked up. Where originally that wasn't doing that so every time I was putting my foot on the brakes it was just bypassing straight out the exhaust. When I say exhaust, I mean the valve, exhaust on the valve block. Alright, so now we've got to go and clean up the rest of the stuff and get it all back together. Alright guys, just uh, when you're fitting this bit back up, once it's all nice and clean inside and ready to go, just uh, a little bit of uh, brake fluid to go onto the seal here, just to help it slide on into it and if you want you can chuck a little bit in the bore as well just make it all slide together nicely all right we've gone and cleaned the reservoir up looking a lot better than what it was on the lid that was all covered in rust there it's just gone down now it's all faded and the filter's all cleaned out probably advisable once she's uh are doing this i don't know what yours would be like but my brake fluid and stuff was pretty damn feral it was coming out like mud and uh, so what I did while I had the line off on this rear one I just put an airline through there backed off the bleeders on the calipers and uh, pushed it through until it all come stopped draining out now the other thing with these I don't know if it's the same with all models or not but mine does not have nipples so you can't use vacuum pumps or anything like that on it 
So the way I decided to get these ones bled up was to actually gravity feed the oil down. So just let the oil drain down by gravity until it stops glubbing and more so a nice, nice flow of oil coming out and then lock them up. And same to the other side. Like I say, I'm not a mechanic, but uh, I was looking for information on the victory loaders on the internet and I couldn't find anything at all on brakes or compressors or nothing. So I thought this might be handy for other people out there, maybe able to get them going. And if you think brakes aren't required, think again. I uh, done a little bit of damage with mine not being able to stop in time so there's a little bit more stuff i've got to be taking care of all right guys take it easy catch you later